Hi, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through chapter two for PowerPoint. So you can tell from the first chapter that wasn't anything real major. So in this chapter, we're going to be enhancing a presentation with pictures, shapes, and word art. A lot of this, I know you know how to do a few things you may not. So we'll go through those. Um, we'll search and download a theme for an online for our presentation. So we don't have to just choose one of the the blank ones we can actually have a theme for it. We'll insert and format some more pictures and shapes, apply some effects to the shape um, and add text. We'll be changing the font of the text, inserting a picture to create a background. We'll work with word art, format the slide backgrounds, find and replace text and check our spelling, and we will add and print speaker notes. So for this project, this is the presentation we're going to be making. There's only four slides. We're going to have our title slide. We'll have our second slide, which has a picture. We're going to be changing this background several different times. We'll insert some shapes. And then we're going to have our final slide, which has a picture background. <clears throat> so we will get started. Let me move that off of. Oops. Let me do that. Let me move this off the screen. And it says we're going to open our PowerPoint and we're not gonna start with just a blank PowerPoint. We're gonna use a theme. So up here, you're gonna see some themes. Um, I can just hit new and that's gonna give me some more and I'm gonna have the search bar. And up here in the search bar, I'm gonna type basketball. And here is the one that we're gonna to wanna to use, the basketball presentation. I'm gonna to have to move my mouse around a lot because I left my book at school, so I'm having to just go back and forth. So I'm gonna click on that one. Remember, if we double click, it just opens. This one doesn't have any other options for us, so we're just gonna hit Create. Give it a minute while it downloads. My internet here is a little slow. Okay. And you can see here that the presentation actually comes with several slides. We're only going to be using four of these, so we're gonna to have to delete some. So pay attention to which slides you delete. You don't want to delete one that you did need. So it says we're gonna click on slide number three, and we're gonna hold shift. Shift is going to allow us to click on more slides. And then we're gonna slide all the way down, and we wanna click on number seven. You can see here that we have slides three through seven highlighted. Go ahead and hit the, you can hit right click and delete slide. So that deleted all those slides in the middle and now we have four slides. Okay, we're gonna start with our title slide. So here's our title slide. We're going to click where it says title layout and we're gonna replace that with our text, which is basketball camp for kids. And then our subtitle is going to come down here. We're going to type Gilbert Park District. Oops. I'm going to press enter and go ahead and type your name. Hey, title slide is done. How easy was that? We're ready to go to our first slide. So here's the first slide we have, which is a picture with caption layout. So we're going to, for our picture with caption layout, the big words, we're going to replace that with learn from pros and make acquaintances. I can spell this morning. Okay, learn from pros and make acquaintances. And then in the caption area, which is a smaller font, we're gonna put when the class is me. Weekday classes meet weekday throughout. I skipped like half the word. Weekday mornings throughout the summer. Okay. Next we're gonna go ahead and go to our third slide, 
which is going to be another title slide. And for this title, I'm going to put, you will learn, oops, hold on, I got to see, okay, I guess it's just you will learn. They had that misspelled just so that you can see if it misspells it. It's going to underline it in red and that one it ought actually automatically corrected for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this one a save. Whenever you're working with PowerPoint, if you have large, a large file or lots of pictures or audio or anything like that, I recommend saving very often. So save it wherever you're going to save your stuff. My computer's running a little slow. I'm just, okay. So wherever you're going to save, we're gonna name this one PPT2, and it's called Basketball Camp. And then put your initials. Okay, back to our slideshow. So we're gonna go back to slide one. It's gonna have us jump around a lot. And we're going to, we want to insert a basketball backboard here. Um, so make sure that you have downloaded the files that you're going to need. I think there's three of them. There's the backboard, the basketball boy, and I think one that's called team. So make sure you have those downloaded. If not, pause and go do that. So I'm gonna do insert. And picture. And we're gonna go find where we have downloaded that file to. Oops, wrong file. This is where it really helps to keep your files more organized so you can find things. So here's the backboard I want. I'll hit insert. And there's my backboard. So we're going to we want to put it over here without covering words. So I'm going to have to resize that. I'm going to use the corner sizing handle because I don't want to skew the backboard. So we're just going to drag it till it looks about that size. Okay, going to slide two. This is a great picture, but this is not the picture we want to use. So this time we're going to right click on the picture and we're going to choose replace picture or change picture. Change picture from file. And this is the one called teamwork and insert. And there we go. Now we have a picture in there. The reason why we did the change picture is it tried to keep it about the same size as our original picture was. Um, Okay, so we're gonna do some editing to this picture. Um, actually, it's a called color correction. So we have the picture selected. We're gonna go up here to our format tab and we're gonna go to corrections. If you don't see the format tab up here, make sure that you're clicked on your picture. So under corrections, we want to go down to, make sure we get the right one, Brightness 20%, brightness minus 20%, contrast plus 40. So it's this one right here at the bottom row of the second column. So that just changed the way the picture looked just a little bit. Okay, next we're going to apply a picture style. So we're still under the format tab. Here is our picture styles. We're gonna hit the more button so we can get more of these. And the one that we're looking for is the bevel rectangle. But if you can tell if you just kind of hover over these, it gives you an idea of what those are going to look like. I'm looking for a bevel rectangle. Hmm. Oh. 
beveled rectangle. Here it is. So that's the one we're going to choose. Then we're going to add a border to that picture. So it's got, I think I skipped a step. Click the picture border button. And then we're going to change the weight to six. So down here's the weight, that's how thick it's going to be. We wanna make it six. And then we're gonna change that color to be black. So back under picture border and we wanna make it a black border. It looks almost like a, like a screensaver on a phone or something with that shape and color. Okay, so picture effects are going to allow you to further customize your picture and there's a variety of those that we can choose from. So we're gonna go to, actually I'm gonna hit save just because with PowerPoint, I get a little paranoid with it. So with slide two still selected, but we're gonna click off of our picture this time. Actually, my picture looks like it's going a little bit above with that border on there. So I'm gonna adjust my picture in just a tiny bit. There we go. So with my picture unselected, Oh, actually, once my picture is still selected, sorry. We're going to add the glow effect. I was skipping ahead of myself. So we're gonna come over here to picture effects and we're going to come down to glow. And you can choose, it says point to brown, 18 point glow. That's dark red, red, brown. 18 point glow, so it's this bottom one down here. It looks kind of like an orangey color. And what that did is gave a little bit of glow. Again, you can see that now I'm off my age a little bit. So I wanna make sure my all my effects stay on my presentation. Okay, we're gonna still be clicked on the picture. We're gonna go back to picture effects this time again. And we're gonna to point to bevel. And this is gonna make it look kind of like a button. And we're gonna to point to angle, which I think is, oops. If I find it. Okay, I've missed it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Mine is in the first column in the second row down. So we're gonna add that bevel. So it, you can't really tell it did a whole lot, but it did do a little bit to it. Okay, next we're gonna work on formatting our shapes. So let's go ahead and go to slide three and we'll keep going here. So I know in your big PowerPoint you have to do it's insert shapes. Sometimes it doesn't make sense where you have to put them, but you are gonna have to insert a shape. So make sure that you do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to insert and we're gonna to go to shapes. And the first shape we're going to want to find is the oval. Here's my oval. I'm gonna click on that. You see where it makes crosshairs. The crosshairs are going to show me where I am drawing my shape. So it looks like I'm just gonna be drawing a ball. I'm gonna hold shift because if I hold shift, that's gonna keep my, my circle as a true circle. Otherwise I can make it an oval. So it looks like I'm gonna make it about that size and put it right about here. I'm just looking at where the book has it. Okay. Next, it says to use your smart guides. So whenever you drag, you can see the smart guides there. It says to line it up with the top of that smart guide. Okay, we're gonna add a couple more shapes to it. We're not worried about the colors right now. This time we're going to add a curved left arrow. Okay, these are kind of hard to get in there exactly the way you want. So again, I'm going to go back to insert shape. And the curved left arrow is going to look like this. Nope, that's curved down. Here it is. Curved left arrow. I'm going to click it. And I'm just going to drag. I don't have to 
If you hold shift, it will put it proportionally. So let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like I want it to be about like this. We can change these here in a little bit. And looks like there is where I'm wanting to go. Maybe I've got it too low or too big. Okay, this is gonna be an odd looking diagram that we're drawing. Okay, next I'm going to go back to insert shape. And I'm going to want the, right here, the pentagon. It looks like I'm gonna draw my pentagon like this. Kind of making size similar to the ball. So you can see you still got smart guides. So I'm gonna line that up with the smart guide that's going through the center of the circle. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the circle. And we're going to do some formatting with it. So we're going to go to quick styles. Oh, it's under the format tab. And mine has, so right here where we have all the pictures, I'll hit the more button. And we're going to want, let me double check, point to light one outline. So we're gonna make it the black. So right here, I think it is light one outline colored filled black, dark one. We'll use that one. Then we're going to go to our arrow. And for the arrow, um, we're going to want it to be outline black, dark one also. That does not look like the picture. Maybe, maybe I picked the wrong one, hold on. Oops, there I picked green. Um, okay, the picture looks like it's this gray one. Subtle effect, black, dark. Let's go with that. And then for our pentagon shape, we're gonna do also that same gray color right here. Okay. And then we can add text to our shape. So if you click in your shape, you can then um, double click to add your text. We're gonna type ball handling skills. And then in our Pentagon, we're going to type offensive moves. Okay. We can change our font. So with the first one, we're going to highlight here our ball handling skills. And it looks like we want to make it Century School Book. Go back to the Home tab. Century School Book. And we're going to also make it bold. You can see here it's not really fitting in there, so I'll adjust my, my picture here in a minute. And we want to change the color to be orange, which is this one right here. So I'm going to hold shift so I keep my circle as a true circle and just make my circle a little bit bigger so that it all fits inside my inside their fine without um, breaking up a word between lines. Okay, we want everything else to be formatted like this. So I'm going to actually highlight that and I'm going to use my four pound painter. So just like in Word, we've got the paintbrush. If you click it once, you pick up enough paint for to paint one thing. If you double click it, you can paint a lot of things. So I'm just going to click it once. And I'm going to highlight over offensive moves because then that formatted it to look the same. Okay, next we're going to copy and paste. So we've got our Pentagon with offensive moves. So obviously we're probably going to need another one that says defensive moves. So I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to click off of it. I'm going to right click and paste. Face. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. I've got it. Oops. Try. There we go. 
It did not copy whenever I did it. Okay, and so then I'm just gonna drag that one over. I'm gonna use my guides to try and line it up the same. And this one, we're going to put defensive mindset for our words. Okay, it looks like I need to, that doesn't fit in there very well. So I'm just gonna hold shift. I'm gonna drag, I think I'll drag down a little bit. And then I wanna drag this one too. Oops, I got them both clicked. I want to drag this one also so that they end up the same size. You can tell by using your guides on the bottom that I got them the same size. Okay, then we're going to copy our arrow. I just use Control C and then I'm going to paste him. I'm going to bring him over here, try and line him up, and then I'm going to use um, which way does it want me to do this? Oh, I'm going to leave him there. Um, these may be too close together, so I'm going to have to drag them apart. This is kind of an awkward looking thing, and I want to paste another one of these little arrows down here. So I'm kind of like this. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my rotate handles. And what I'm going to do is just watch, and it's going to look something like this. This is not going to be the prettiest, but just play with yours. Try to get them lined up. I'm not going to be real picky about how exactly if you have them all perfect. Like I know mine's a little off centered, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Okay. Next, we're going to change some backgrounds. You can change your background to be solid, a gradient, a picture, texture, or a pattern. Um, you can also adjust the transparency on your background to make it not quite so bright. So we're gonna go back to slide two. We're gonna click, make sure we're not on a picture this time. This is what I tried to get us to do before and we weren't ready. So we're clicked here. We're going to go to the design tab. And we're going to choose the format background, which is way over here. And it's going to give us some options. We're going to choose the picture or texture. Trying to follow along with the book. Whenever you do that, here's where you can click your texture. If you're clicking a picture, you find it here. But we want a texture. And we're going to want it to be the... brown marble right here we're going to click it so you can actually hit apply to all and that's going to apply it to all of your slides so we're not going to do that we just want it on this one but you could do that and then all your slides would have the same background okay we are going to change the transparency we think that's a little bright so what i can do is oh where's my button go Transparency slider right here. So we're going to, we can just slide that. Um, it looks like we want it to be a 15. So then it's not quite so bright. If you can't get to 15 sliding it, you can use your arrows here and get it to the 15. Okay, now we're going to go to slide three. We're going to play around with this one. Um, with slide three, we're going to make it a gradient fill changed it to this pink color we're going to change the coloring so right here where it says preset gradients we're going to change that one to be accent three gradient fill which is kind of an orange and yeah let's go with this one here the bottom spotlight okay and next we're going to go to Slide number four, we're getting close to being there. And we're going to change the background. I'm gonna hit save again. Um, we wanna change this background to be a picture. So over here on the background, I'm going to do picture or border and I'm gonna do from a file because I've already downloaded the file. This is the one that's going to be called the basketball boy. I'm gonna click him and hit insert. And whenever you do that, it's going to fill your entire page with this picture. So you don't have to worry about trying to get it sized the way you want him to be. Um, 
We're going to change his transparency to 30%. You can also type in your box. It's just going to make him a little not quite so bright. Okay, we're going to close the format background. We've got all of our backgrounds. We're ready to add some word art. So I'm going to go to insert. And then I'm going to choose, where is my word art? Oh, over here it is. And we're picking this A here, which is the red, looks like red accent two. So it's kind of a big one. And we're going to put register today. Okay, we can change the shape of our word art. So if we click here on text effects, we can actually go down to transform. And it looks like we're going to want this one that's called Chevron Up. Okay, we're going to drag it so it's a little bigger. So just kind of watch what I do. Whenever you drag that, it actually resizes your font for you. That's a little too big. So I'm going to drag him down so it's like right here. So make it look kind of like that one. We can change the fill of our word art. So on our word art, we can actually come up here to our text fill and we can change it not only to colors, but we can also add a texture to that one. And it looks like we're going to choose this wood, which is called walnut. So we're gonna change that one to walnut. The weight of the outline, we want to change it to six. So text outline, we're gonna go weight and six. Whoa, that's a lot of red there. And we're going to change that red to black, so back to text outline and make it black. Okay, let's go ahead and hit save. At this point, we are finished with it, but it does have some things we want to review. So some things we need to do is on slide number two, we want to find a synonym for the word acquaintances. So all I have to do is click on acquaintances and right click, and I'm gonna to go to synonyms, and it says maybe use the word friends. So we'll fix that. Okay, notes. Notes are something most people don't use, but if you come down here to the bottom and pull up, you've got your notes section. And we're not gonna put a note on every one, we're just gonna put it on the second slide. In your homework assignment, you do have to add some notes. So we're just going to go ahead and type. And double check that for spelling. Looks like I did okay there. If you had spelled it, it would underline it. Um, the book actually has us doing that to a couple of them. So let's go ahead and do one more. There, it did underline it, so I'll fix that one. Um, and we're going to go ahead and skip the rest of the notes for that. So I'm going to hit save again. You can use find and replace just like you could in Word. So under the home tab, we have the replace button. So we're going to find the word morning because we decided kids would rather have it in the afternoon. And we can do replace all. So now every time seeing the word morning, it can replace it with afternoon, which was three times. Okay, want to double check your spelling. So it should have underlined it and you should have checked it as you went, but you can always come up here to your review button and check your spelling just one more time to make sure everything's good. Okay, we're ready to add a transition. It does talk about adding page numbers in there. So if you need to know how to do that, you can look back to the book. 
but that's just under, I'll just show you real quick. It's under the insert tab. And it's one of these. So that's a date and time. Insert slide number. So slide number is what you would want. And you can apply that to all and decide where you want your page numbers to be. We're going to add some transitions. So we're going to be on slide number one. I want to go to my transition. And I'm going to choose the wipe effect. Here it is. I'm going to change the duration from one to two. Oops, too far. And hit apply to all. That means I only had to do it once. I don't have to do it for all of them. Okay, so the next thing you need to know is if you wanted to print your speaker notes. So if you go to file, print, we're not really going to print, but I do want to show you how to do this. This is very important, I think, because I hate it whenever I go to a meeting and I get a packet with one slide per page. So here it is with print full page slides. I could parent my notes. If I go down, here's the ones where I've actually typed notes. And this is going to be like your speaker notes. So you could actually see what the slide looks like and what it is you're supposed to say, kind of like your note card. Um, or you could actually do it like an outline, which does not have your pictures, but then you can see all the words that's on it. But for this one, I did want, oops, you can also just print um, certain slides too. But we're going to go back to the notes page. You do not have to print this. We're going to hit save. Again, we'll go back home and hit save. And that is it. And you are going to be ready for chapter three.